Growing up here was great. Uh, we, as kids, would used to play around the beaches and of course in the Indian River and the St. Lucie Estuary and the lagoon, and not worrying about any kind of pollution or any kind of activity. What I saw when I came back from um, the college in Merchant Marine in 1978 was I saw a kind of a deterioration of the waterways. The seagrass and the oyster reefs were disappearing. Well, I felt like we needed to do something. This, this effort's personal to me, obviously, because I've been in it for so many years. But it's also personal to me because I have children and grandchildren that I want to pass a legacy to. And if we can reestablish it to what it used to be like or close to what it used to be like, that would be a, a great legacy to leave, I think. You know, we're all connected by water here, but we interrupted that. We uh, channelized those systems. We were trying to get rid of that valueless swamp back in the 1900s, and we didn't know how bad what we were doing to the Everglades. We were starving the Everglades from getting the water. We just now realize it's, it's got to be a more natural system. We've got to work with nature. We've got to restore those flows to the Everglades. And it's been a long kind of struggle. Of course, we made great milestones trying to get these big regional projects underway to restore those natural flows and get back to that natural ecosystems that we know are valuable and important. And to restore that and get that going takes a long time. My advice to the next generation is take action, go after it, and don't, don't give up. Never, never, never give up.